Method Statement for Construction Retaining Wall Work Sequence Slash Procedures Check Actual Measurement, Survey and Setting Out Exact Areas, Location of Retaining Wall Prepare Areas for Excavation Prior to Construction Checking, Level, Depth as per Approved Design Inspection, Checking and Approval After Correct Excavation Level for Foundation, Backfilling Compaction of soil will be executed but to ensure all loose soil, other elements removed. Inspection, checking and approval. Preparation of formworks around the foundation, by bricks, areas. Inspection, checking and approval. Installation of rebars for foundation and starter bars for retaining wall. Repair forecasting on the foundation first. Inspection, checking and approval. Continue rebar works for retaining wall, installation of formworks, supports including wee poles. Continue with the casting of retaining wall, inspection and approval. Prepare, start and continue for the backfilling and compaction of soil. Soil compaction test, inspection, checking and approval. Obtain the correct soil level prior to start of any finishing works on this area. Inspection, checking and approval area, work methodology. Method, construction of retaining wall. Check retaining wall location areas for actual measurement, survey marking and setting out prior to commencement of works. Check boundary line and limits. Excavation preparation, ensure to check the excavation works, depth, level according to the approved design and actual site condition. Check correct excavation level for foundation, backfilling, compaction of soil will be done, executed, if needed, to ensure all loose soil, other elements removed. Prepare and cast for lean concrete of 100 mm thickness. Rebar fabrication, fixing, placement and installation for foundation slab first including the starter bars for retaining wall. Installation of bricks on the surrounding areas of foundation slab as based on the approved drawings, and retaining wall, foundation 2, prior to casting works. Casting the foundation slab first of 400 mm thickness and obtain inspection approval from consultant, fabricate and complete installation of rebars for retaining walls at 250 mm thick for the four designated areas as shown on the layout drawings. Check and ensure that weep holes were installed as to correct location and requirements. Proper placement of concrete spacer or concrete blocks shall be provided for such locations. Inspection, checking and approval. Cleaning of surface shall be done by air compressor or spraying water before installation of formworks. Prepare and install the formworks for retaining walls, ensure that these were properly supported and correctly braced. Inspection, checking and approval. Upon completion of formworks, Repair for casting concrete of C45 MPA. Correct casting sequence, procedure, vibration technique and other quality assurance plan must be properly complied with to ensure good quality of works or workmanship. After 24 hours prior to casting, supports, bracing and formwork removal will be executed, cover the surface with hessian cloth, optional and a continuous 7 days water curing for the retaining wall will be providing or achieved before proceeding to next scope of work. After lean concreting works, casting for foundation slab first to be completed before. Installation of rebars, formworks including casting of retaining wall, method, backfilling and compaction. A ground surface preparation. Prior to placement of fills, remove vegetation, debris, unsatisfactory soil materials, obstructions and deleterious matter from ground surface. Strip or break up the soil or sloped surface which is steeper so that backfilling material will bond with the existing surface. If an existing ground surface has a density less than that specified under compaction requirement for the particular area, ground surface must be break up, pulverize moisture condition to the required moisture content and compact to require depth and percentage of maximum density. Each area must be backfilled for at least 500 mm maximum from the surface. For soft soil area or soft ground condition, the existing soil must to be removed until it reached the hard soil portion and replaced by sand or soil with cement mixture, 
if needed, and compaction to be undertaken as to approved required density. For the frequency of test, three points, pulls, compaction testing, to be performed for each retaining wall areas. B backfill excavation. Acceptance of construction below finish grade including, where applicable damp proofing and waterproofing is necessary. Removal of trash and debris. Backfilling avoids with satisfactory materials. For foundation, as soon as the excavation reaches the required depth, elevation the surface shall be leveled and shall be compacted to 95% of maximum dry density MDD, and CBR of 5% till to 15%. See backfilling works, placing, and compacting. After completion of the compaction under blinding and ground slab, backfilling shall commence using similar excavated material. Care shall be taken to remove boulder, vegetation and any other deleterious materials. But prior to backfilling, the compacted surface shall be accepted by the consultant, engineer first. The thickness of the backfill shall not be greater than 500 mm for each layer. The subgrit once approved, the excavated materials or any material source approved by the engineer shall be placed in layers not more than 500 mm thick followed by compaction test when surface level is ready. In situ dry density test, compaction test, shall be performed at the rate indicated in the specification. Backfilling followed with compaction shall continue till final level is achieved. Before compaction, moisten or aerate each layer as necessary to provide the optimum moisture content. Compact each layer as to required and approved percentage of maximum density for area. Do not place backfill or film material on surfaces that are muddy or soft soil. All backfill materials must be placed evenly adjacent to structures as to required elevations approved, inspected by the consultant. Decompaction. Control soil compaction during construction to provide the minimum percentage of density as approved, required and specified for each area of compaction to 95% and 5% till to 15% of CBR. This should provide not less than the maximum density of soil material compacted at optimum moisture content for the actual density of each layer of soil material in place and as per approved by the consultant. Moisture control. The subgrade or layer of soil material must be moisture conditioned before compaction. Uniformly apply water to surface of subgrade or layer of soil material to prevent free water appearing on surface during or subsequent to compacting operations. Remove and replace the soft soil or soil material that is too wet to permit the compaction to require an approved density. All material that has been removed because it's too wet and to permit compacting must be stockpiled, spread or allowed to dry. E-field quality control. The consultant shall request for inspection and approval of subgrades and fill layers prior to subsequent construction is permitted to proceed. If in the soil engineer's opinion based on reports of the testing laboratory, subgrid or fills which have been placed are below the required density, additional compaction or testing will be executed under the requirements or specifications, safety and environmental program. All HSE procedure and regulations shall be complied with accordingly. To provide proper and safe access for inspection and working. Site personnel must be in proper safety, working attire, for example safety boots and helmets must be worn at all times. Proper and adequate lighting to be providing when working at night. QA slash QC program. Inspection and test plan. In order to ensure the quality of bulged concrete repair works meet the requirement, inspection and test shall be carried out as per the Project Quality Plan PQP. Request for Inspection Form RFI, attached with checklist. Thank you for watching.